Hey guys, welcome to my harsh lighting. Ah, let's catch up on where I've been. Uh, it's been a few texts, obviously. Um, it's been a little, uh, a hot little minute since I have uploaded a video. Uh, I think we're going on about a month now, which is probably the longest stretch I've had without uploading something for everybody. Um, I feel like, on one hand, I owe you guys an explanation, um, but also just kind of touching base with like where life is at right now. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, I am outside, so you might hear the noise of the bacon sizzle because I am on my back porch and I've got the griddle going and I'm making bacon and sausage for breakfast for dinner. So you also might see a couple of pauses where I have to cut away to flip some bacon. So just so you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been a rough little ride for the last couple of weeks. Um, I, I have to tell you guys, I have been completely off plan. Um, I don't feel like there's much of an excuse in the world to be like, oh yeah, I went off plan, no big deal. Um, yeah, it's still kind of a big deal. Um, but I will say that life happens and everybody has different things that they go through and sometimes it's tough to stick to things like a diet when you're, all you're doing is just trying to hold it together. And maybe that takes a backseat, uh, to whatever else you have going on. And that's kind of where I've been at for the last few weeks. Um, some of you know, I've had a, a big job change. Um, so about almost three weeks ago, I switched jobs and went to a new store that is a lot busier, a lot more difficult. And, um, much more stressful and that alone has been a huge driver uh, for why I have not been able to stay on plan. Um, the mental and emotional toll that that place has taken is extreme. Um, I am not going to say I hate my job because I don't. It's just you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen The Incredibles, and it always makes me think of that point in, like, with Mr. Incredible when he's talking about, like, saving the world, and then it's like, people just go and mess it up again, and it's like, just save the world. Can't you just keep it saved for, like, five minutes? Like, that's how I feel um, a lot of times. So, like, I, I made my mark, I guess, at my old store, and I had a really great department that was really successful and really lucrative, and then they sent me to one that was all mucked up. And it's like, on one hand, part of me is sitting here going, what did I do to deserve this, right? But at the same time, I understand that what it is is that they have um, confidence in me to improve it. And so I, I realized that I should be complimented by being asked to go and take over at a place that really, really needs some expertise and finesse. But at the same time, like I don't want to keep fixing things. It's exhausting. And I am physically and mentally and emotionally exhausted. And that is the biggest part of what has pushed me um, kind of off the ledge. Uh, part of it's just being physically exhausted and not having the energy to think and put together meals. Um, part of it is just emotionally trying to drown out, uh, how horrible I am feeling. Part of it is all of the grief surrounding, um, things going on with my mother and her failing health. And now with this new job, knowing that I'm not going to be able to necessarily go and visit as much as I have been, it, it's just, it's a lot of things. And I'll be honest, I have almost every day for the last three weeks, I have pressed record and started to film to be able to talk to you guys. And about halfway through the day, every day I lose that spark and I don't have any interest in 
pressing record again. And most days I get to that same point where I am fully keto and doing great and eating good things or drinking good things and on track. And then when I hit that point, I, I hit it 100% and that's when I give up on all of it. So today, we are a week away from Thanksgiving. I am officially back keto today. Um, actually, I've been carnivore today. I've only had, um, this morning I had eggs for breakfast and I had some, for lunch I had some hot dogs with some mustard and I'm getting ready to have breakfast for dinner. So we're going to have bacon and sausage and eggs for dinner. Speaking of which, I've got to flip the bacon. Pause. Okay, bacon is flipped and we'll be ready here in a second. So I guess all of that to say, today is day one. I'm starting back over and I am not pressuring myself to do anything other than just trying to get back into the right food um, and feeling better. I have not felt this bad physically since pre-keto, since like 2017. Everything hurts. I am so tired. I am so inflamed. Um, I, I just, yeah, I can't believe that I used to feel like this all the time. Very truthfully, like this is a miserable feeling. Um, so today is, I've, I've got the majority of the, ba of the day under my belt um, as far as being back on track. Um, I also, I did have a visit with my primary care doc today um, and we made some adjustments to um, my um, my antidepressant that I've been on for the last year or so and I also was officially given my ADHD diagnosis um, and start treatment tomorrow for that. Um, if you guys decide you want me to share any more about either the depression journey or the ADHD journey, I'm happy to do that in a separate video. Um, but obviously those things pertaining to mental health affect a lot. And, um, it's just, it's been, it's been a really rough couple weeks and I'm not sharing for sympathy. Like, please don't think that that's what it is. I just, I feel like it's important to share without shame. Um, because we're, we're all human. We all go through stuff. There's a dog, like just, I'm sorry. Um, but we all go through stuff, whether it's work or family or emotional, or if it's world problems, like that we're all affected. And I don't think that that's a free pass to just slip, but I think that it affects everybody differently. And sometimes we just kind of let the fringe things go in order to hold ourselves together in other ways. And that's kind of what I feel like I've had to do. So I feel, like I said, I feel physically sucky <laughs> and I'm hoping that I'll feel a little better. Um, I, I feel very inflamed and very bloated and very swollen and, um, I, I hope that that all subsides pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I, I plan on trying to be back. Um, I might even do a few what I eat a day is just for accountability to get back on track. But right now it's just, Hey, this is where I've been. This is what's been going on. And I'm sorry guys. Uh, I've tried and tried and tried and I have legit filmed probably 30 videos trying to get back on track and have something to upload to y'all. And then I, I end up just pitching them because they don't go anywhere. Um, and I didn't want to share a lie. So here we are back to day one. We're a week out from Thanksgiving. Um, I stepped on the scale this morning. I was 170.2. I think I'll throw it in right here. Um, because I, I did step on the scale this morning before I started back and I was like, okay, I'm going to get back on track today. This is, this is the day knowing that I had my doctor's appointment and knowing that I had, um, kind of some things to get together. That was what I needed to do. So, um, yeah, I'll share here in the next few days, uh, maybe some what I eat in a day and some vlogs and try and get back on track for you guys. Um, but I just want y'all to know, like if you're struggling, especially right now, it's the holidays and like things are just tough. 
so if you're struggling, you're not alone struggling. Like it, it, we are all human and there's so much happening, whether, whether it is work or kids or financial or just stress, sickness, grief. I don't know. Like there are so many things that can kind of throw you curveballs and we're not perfect. So that's all. All right. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to go get my bacon off the griddle and have some dinner. But I love you guys. Thank you, everybody that's messaged me um, or that's commented on all the videos, kind of asking where I've been. I do appreciate it. Um, and uh, I hope to see you guys a little bit more frequently coming up soon. All right. Love you.